What is going on everybody, welcome back to another video. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to improve the quality of your sound and voice recordings using Audacity. Uh, if you guys don't know what Audacity is, it's basically a really amazing audio recording and you can mix music and tracks too. It's a free program, so that's why a lot of YouTubers use it and it's it's really great for, you know, doing uh, post commentaries when you're recording your voice over maybe a gameplay or something like that. Um, and if you just, if you're a, maybe an amateur musician, you can actually record your instruments and mix tracks and edit them and speed them up and it's like a it's like a free amateur adobe adobe audition i guess but uh you guys if you're watching this you probably already know how to use audacity so let's jump straight in so if you're a beginner you haven't used this program before um and you just started and you want to improve your quality then uh this may be a little bit uh complicated but don't worry if you just follow exactly what i do you can make your qualities your voice recordings sound a lot better so the first thing you want to do is uh get your recording of course and i'll play it so that you know what it sounds like before Hey everyone, this is a test for sample recording uh, for my how to make your voice recording quality sound better using Audacity, a free program that I highly recommend for, you know, mixing music, for recording voices. It's super useful and super awesome. There we go. So I just, you know, said exactly what I said in the intro about Audacity. Don't worry, I'm not sponsored by them. I just, I really love this program for my audio. So uh, the first thing you want to do is actually during and bef before and after your recording, you want to record about three seconds of just absolute silence. Um, you don't want to turn off your mic, leave your mic on, but don't speak at all. You want to make sure that the mic picks up any background noise that maybe any fans of the background that you want, because we need a sample of any background noise so that we can get rid of it after. So we're not, we're, that's going to be the last step. So the first thing you want to do is highlight the whole thing by just clicking the left side right here, this gray box. Go to Effect and Compressor. So now uh, uh copy all these steps, these uh, set, uh, settings down. I think it's actually, um it's the default settings. I just leave it as, as the default. I don't really touch it. And just press OK. You can pause it if you guys want to copy these settings if they're not the same. Press OK. And as you can see, it makes everything more, you know, even. Like the audio, uh, the, the waveforms are more even. So, uh, next thing you want to do is go to bass and treble. This, you want to be, add a little bit of bass to your voice to make it sound, you know, more full and, uh, that nice bassy, um, sound that a lot of people like. That's really good. And you can add a little bit of treble, a little bit of treble. It just enhances, like, the S's and the, and the high frequencies of your voice. Not too much, because if you add too much it's going to sound really bad and really like high and you do not want that at all in your recording so um maybe about around six and like less than one decibel so press and then press okay make sure you un you deselect enable level control there we go so recording uh for my how to make your voice recording quality actually now think of it um you actually undo that so if you want to undo something you press you can go to edit and undo or press control z Go back to bass and treble. Actually, you do want to click enable level control, level control, and go down to about negative six. Because if you don't, if you uncheck that, it adds a little bit too much of clipping. So copy these exact steps. Sorry, there we go. So that's. Hey everyone, this is a test for sample recording. Okay, so that sounds a little bit better. So now the next thing you want to do is it is a little bit quiet. So you just want, you want to amplify it a bit, maybe about one decibel or so. Make sure you check allow clipping. Don't worry, we will take away the clips later. Recording. Okay, so now we're almost done actually. So you want to go to leveler and go to light and uh, noise threshold negative 75 dB. What the leveler does it just makes the sound a little bit more full and enhances, like, makes the quiet parts a little bit louder. My how to make your voice recording quality sound better using Audacity. So yeah, there you go. Like the voice is deeper and it's like, you know, more rich. Um, next thing uh, you want to do is then you can, I think, I don't I don't remember if I usually do this, but if I add another compressor, yeah, you can add one last compressor at the end. So that's why I recommend. Hey everyone, this is a test for sample recording better using Audacity, a free program that I highly recommend for you know mixing music. And don't worry if you hear, if you hear any like clipping, it will t it will be taken away in the YouTube encoding because YouTube encodes down the audio itself. But I don't think you do hear. I think it's just my headphones are broken right now. So if you do hear clipping, then just tell me and uh, maybe I could redo this tutorial, but right now this is how I usually do it. So then the last thing you wanna do is, you know, uh, you see, you remember that silence we had earlier? Uh, at the end here, as you can see, the silence is much louder than the intro for some reason, I don't know why. So you wanna select uh, a sample of the silence where you didn't talk, but you left the background noise on, go to effect, noise reduction, 
and get and click get noise profile then you want to select everything by clicking the gray box again go back to noise reduction and put the noise and go to step two you make sure you press reduce not residue because that will leave the it will actually leave the background noise which which you don't want at all noise reduction about 16 is fine sensitivity 6 again you can just leave it at the default i'm pretty sure it's fine i'm pretty sure this is the default and just press ok and as you can see uh when you listen to the recording there will be no background noise at all which sounds lovely hey everyone this is a test for sample recording uh for my how to make your voice recording quality sound better using audacity a free program that i highly recommend for you know mixing music for recording voices it's super useful and super awesome there we go. So now that once we have this done, you can go to File, Export Audio, name it whatever you want, save it as a WAV or MP MP3, uh, whatever you want, and then save it. So that is basically it. Now, uh, to make all this easier, I know all, this whole process can be a little bit confusing, and you're, you maybe forget to do some steps, or you just don't want to do it all over again. There is a little hack you can do that um, does everything that I just did in like one simple thing. So I'm going to undo everything. I'm going to press Control Z. A new compressor there we go so now this is back to where it started hey everyone this is a test for sample recording so now what you can do is go to file edit chains and go to add uh, and call it i don't know whatever better quality okay so then what you do is go to insert and you want to insert everything that we just did so the first thing is press compressor and you can edit the parameters but but I usually left everything to the default uh, for this one, so press OK and add. So basically, uh, you can probably tell what we're doing is we're adding a chain of what all the effects we just did, and we're inserting them. So what we did, we did compressor, and then we did bass and treble, and again the the parameters will be set because we just did them. Press OK. Then we did. I'm pretty sure we did like an amplify. Yeah, we did an amplify by about zero point eight. I, and then okay then inserts uh leveler i think we had a leveler yeah and the parameters are there and then i'm pretty sure we did another compressor and then finally you can't actually do the noise uh can you do it here you, you can do noise reduction but you want to do that by hand because you want to actually select the the noise yourself get no noise profile and do it yourself because if you do it like this it will it just won't it won't sound it won't actually work so now once you're done that you press ok and now select the whole thing go to file apply chain if you click better quality uh, apply to current project bam now as you can see all the steps we just did is now applied to the recording hey everyone this is a test for sample Audacity. So we basically did the whole tutorial in a couple of seconds, which is great. So now the last thing you want to do is, of course, do the noise reduction because uh, you need to do that uh, yourself. And that's it. <laughs> Voila, you're done and your recording is done. So that's a little hack that you can uh, use. The change, which is I use a lot, it's super helpful so that you can uh, make your uh, quality sound uh, better in like two clicks. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is a bit longer than expected. Um, and for those uh, old subscribers, I uh, know I'm sorry if you guys wanted a gaming video, though that will come soon. Don't worry. It's just that uh, I haven't had much time to do one, um, but I will do one soon because uh, and I have some new games I really want to play. But for new subscribers who just want to know about my quality, you don't care. Um, yeah, hope you guys. I hope this helped you guys uh, make your quality, uh, your voice reco recording quality sound a lot better. God, I can't speak today. It's really late. Anyways, um, thanks so much for watching. Hope to help you guys. And make sure to share with your friends who also want to improve their quality. And uh, actually, the last thing before I forget is you want to delete all the silent. Just highlight it and press delete on your keyboard. And there, now you're done. So now you can file uh, and export audio. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and hope it helped. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.